No chill, no filter. What's poppin', what's poppin', and what is poppin' again, y'all? How has everybody been? I know it's been a minute, man, you know what I mean? I done had, once again, you know, so much business to take care of. As y'all can see, you know what I mean? I'm reppin' my peoples today. Broncos, let's go. They finally won one. Appreciate y'all, you know what I mean? Do something for a kid here now and again. Okay, you know what, now that we got that out the way, I want to just say, man, what's popping to all my awesome subscribers, man, 583 last time I checked, and I'm pretty sure that number is has not changed, if it has, great, and uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe below, hit that bell, make sure that you're notified every time I upload one of these awesome videos, so what are we talking about today, oh my goodness, it's so much to talk about because there's so much stuff coming up. But I just had to talk about this boob right here. Amber Geiger. Okay, so for those who don't know, this woman, uh, um, I guess, walked into another man's home uh, apartment uh, thinking it was hers and killed him. Um, that right there in itself. Now, just let's just keep it at 100 here, man. You know... There, there has been a lot of crimes committed against us as a race, people, and a group, period. You know what I mean? But this is this may not be the one that takes the cake, but it's definitely up there with the tasty feeling. You know what I'm talking about? With the frosting. So, you know, for her to walk into somebody else's apartment and not only say that she thought it was hers, kill the occupant. This man was doing the most innocent of things that a person could ever be doing in life and that is relaxing at home eating a bowl of ice cream he didn't have a gun in his hand he didn't have a knife in his hand he had a bowl and a spoon in his hand sitting down and you know what there i don't care what nobody says there cannot be that it ain't that much exhaustion mistaken identity or confusion in the world you are a trained trained officer so that means that, you know, you're supposed to yell commands or something like that, don't you? Don't you supposed to, hey, what are you doing in my home? Get your hands up. Something of that nature. You know, I'm not a police officer, but I would say common sense, but you can't call something common that everybody don't got. So <clears throat> God-given sense would tell you, hold on, wait a minute, are you crazy? This man is half-dressed and everything, got flip-flops on. Name a criminal. I know we got some seriously dumbass criminals out here, but name a criminal or, or a crime scene that you've seen or, or, or a crime you've seen being committed by a criminal in flip flops. Unless, you know, we over there in these third world countries, then I understand. But other than that, come on, man, stop playing. My thing is, my, my guess is she's probably one of those, you know what I mean, Nigga lynching Trump lovers, so bottom line is she saw a black face. She didn't see a situation. She saw a black face and she saw opportunity to 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 strike that blow for the white race. You know what I mean? Oh, I, I got this nigga. He in my place. Boom, and, and that is. But unfortunately, she was in the wrong apartment. And I'm just still not getting that. I, I just, I don't look. Let me tell you something. Just really quick. Uh, when I very, 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 very first started the the line of work that I'm in right now, I went to an unfamiliar neighborhood. That's where we were. They sent me to an unfamiliar neighborhood. So I go to that neighborhood. Um, I get there early, 30 minutes early. And, um, you know, I think to myself, you know what? The clients won't be in until about, you know, 2.30, 2.45 or so. And here it is, like 1.55. So I goes around to the store, get me a few things, and I come back. Now, immediately as I'm walking up to that house, it hits me like, wow, it's a lot of cars out here. I wonder what's going on. I guess they, you know, um, the people, the higher ups or whatever, the managers are here, you know, making sure that everything is in order, seeing as how this is my first day. So, you know, I kind of like, I, I dismissed it and walked in the exact same layout. There's an adjoining hallway that, that connects with the front door and the side door. I goes in through the side door, and if you go up the first to the first landing, you got two doors there, both leading to the downstairs uh, flat. So this door here goes to the front room, and this door here goes to the kitchen. And then if you go around the corner, you'll see the front door, and then you'll see the way to go up to that flat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now mm -hmm. I goes in, boom. As I walk in, right then and there, I did not have to 
to mm -hmm. think. It wasn't even it wasn't even a thought. Bottom line, boom, I'm just looking around like a deer stuck in the caught in the headlights because absolutely nothing in that kitchen looked familiar, including the little white woman sitting there. Yes, yes, I walked in on a white woman in her own home. But you know what? By the grace of God, she is facing the sink and she's washing dishes. And she didn't even really turn around. She just said, oh, you're looking for the house next door. And I was shocked. I was stunned. I was like, wow, you know, and I backed out. I said, I'm sorry. And you know what she said in the cutest little voice? No worries. I'm thinking to myself, yes, yes, big worries, big worries, because had she been one of these individuals like this chump right here, then she would have loved nothing more than to, to center mass that situation and then leave, him, leave me with a couple of parting gifts. You know what I mean? Thank God that she didn't. Because not, if, if that would have happened to me, not one jury on earth would have convicted her. Period. She would have got off scot-free. Hey, this guy came in my house. Yep, that was my fault. But I was in the wrong. Period. You know, although she didn't, hey, you know, what are you doing here? What's going on? You know, didn't give me a chance to explain myself. Didn't have to, period. You know what I mean? She didn't have to give me a chance to explain myself. I'm 100% in the wrong. Walk through her threshold. And of course, yes, it's, it's open game. And even as I'm backing out, I mean, seriously, did you see people under the stairs? You don't want to be in a stranger's home, period. I don't, I'm just... I'm not cut like that. I just, I'm not with all that. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, when I leaves up out that place, I'm walking next door, and I was serious, seriously, seriously considering quitting. Because I was like, I, that, that is just too much. And although she was super cool, I noticed like maybe a month and a half or so later, uh, they were gone. I don't know if they were planning on moving, you know, either way it go. But I mean, and I'm not saying that, you know, what happened, my little situation was attributed to them moving. But bottom line is they moved and uh, that situation could have went a whole other direction. That situation could have went, whoo, man, talk about 10 degrees to the left, man, Jesus. But I say that to say this, you cannot sit up here and tell me that that was a mistake. And the only reason why I'm saying something about this, and you know, I was following it from the time it happened last year. Like, wow, she walked in this man's uh, apartment and she killed him. She, she literally killed this man. It's like something else was going on, though. You know, you can't be that stupid. You can't be that transparent. You can't be that elusive. You know what I'm saying? Your, your mind cannot be that stuck. And then you got, who, who is this guy, uh, this Texas Ranger? Look at this. Can you tell the jury generally about sensations that a person might experience uh, when confronted with a quickly evolving, tense, dynamic confrontation with a suspect? Sure. Some of the physical sensations that might be felt by somebody experiencing a scenario, as Mr. Rogers put, would be auditory exclusion, which basically means that you may not hear at the normal volume that you normally would because you're under stress. You may have vision narrowing or tunnel vision, which means you are only focusing on what is directly in front of you, not in your periphery. Email. Okay, okay, okay. Did this dude just say periphery? Okay, I'm, I'm done, man. And then, you know, and, and the killing part about this situation is when it's, everything is all said and done, she's convicted, she's sentenced, and this happens? How, though? And I'm, look, don't get me wrong, man. Okay, you know, you feel a certain type of way, and you entitled to do what it is that you did. But, I mean, you lost a family member. That's... That's kind of like, you know, now y'all now y'all hugging these peoples. And then I was like, kudos to the judge. Did y'all see how she jacked the chick for the laptop? That was awesome. Like, look, she was not playing no games. And then at the end of the at the end of the trial and the sentencing, this happens. Like what what was all that about? Like, what was the reason? What 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 did you what did you gain by walking up to this convict? 
and, and hugging her. I mean, seriously. And then, like I said, with all these old, you know, bojangling folks, man, you know, I'm not saying that that's what the judge was on. But, I mean, you got you got these bailiffs brushing this woman hair. I mean, come on, man. Y'all treating her like, you know, this was a, a, a like a, a summer vacation or something. You know what I mean? Like nothing really happened. Treat her just like you treated me. You know what I'm talking about? Bottom line. I don't care what the case is. After I got convicted... I'm 100% positive. No soon I'd have been like, I um, apologize for everything. Bye, nigga. I um, apologize for everything. See you later. I um, apologize for everything. Adios. I, um, sir, lead him to the door to the left, please. We got other cases. Tag him, bag him, and drag him. You know what I mean? And and y'all wanna y'all wanna play this whole sympathy card? Come on, man. A man is dead. Period. You can't. Take that back. You can't you can't change that. You know what I mean? So honestly, I ain't saying to string her up and, and you know, crucify her or nothing like that. But that was just a bit over the top. That's something that I've never seen done. I don't think anybody ever seen anything like that done ever in life. You know what I'm saying? In, in the history of, of the court system. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't understand how that happened. I don't understand why it happened, but it is what it is. Amber Geiger. Oh, and, and his name was Botham John. Botham Gene. I heard like two or three different names, and I was really trying to hear his mother say his name so then I know that it was, you know, the right name. But I think she called him Botham. Yeah, so it was Botham John. Um, you know, rest in peace to that young man. You know, it was a terrible tragedy. It, it was a serious travesty. You know what I mean? Yet again, you know, at, at the hands of, you know, the, the less... Uh, what 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 do you call that? Like these people were just I mean, come on, man, you are a trained professional and you take somebody's life in this fashion. I'm not buying it, you know, and I feel that, you know, the, the, the punishment don't fit the crime. But, you know, if that's what if that's all they can hand down, then it is what it is. You know, she going to pay for it. It is what it is, man. So other than that, man, that was my quick 10 minutes, man. And I know it probably went a little bit longer than I wanted it to. But I had to talk about this because once again, it was just too much buffoonery from start to finish. You know, from the time it happened all the way up until the time, you know, of the conviction and the sentencing and all that type of stuff, because. I don't know. I'm just giving it one of those. You know what I'm saying? So, Geiger, you definitely get a... You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, both of Gene, man, rest in peace, man. And I hope that, you know, the family is able to, you know, find closure because of all this and, you know, move on with their lives. And don't forget that that wrongful death suit, you should be able to tear the mouth clean out of the beast in real life. So I would definitely be working on that. Other than that, man, it's your big homie, MC Ron Ski. There's no chill, no filter TV, and I'm about this bitch. Peace.